Solara from the Heart of On in Peru and today I'm going to show you a new mudra we have. It's called the Mudra of Returning. It's a very, very strong mudra and it's very important for this year 2020. To understand this mudra we have to go back, uh, back to the beginning actually when we were aligned with our original evolutionary blueprint. We knew that our divine purpose was to go forward and anchor a new reality into the physical. And we were all excited to do this. And then something unexpected happened. And that's when time was created and the endless expanse of, of no time was chopped up into segments and at the same time that happened, we were thrust onto a detour, which was the detour of duality. And it's a very long, very convoluted detour. And we've been traveling on that detour of duality ever since then. And at the moment when we switched from our original evolutionary uh, blueprint over to the detour of duality, that's when we forgot who we were and why we were here. And then we traveled on that detour for many, many, many lifetimes. But what's exciting about 2020 is we're finally reaching the end of that detour. And this year we have the opportunity to step off of the detour of duality and to realign with our original evolutionary blueprint. And not only that, but then once we do that, we have the chance to move forward into totally new territory, new realms where we've never been before and to there create a new world, a new true world. So <clears throat> this is the mudra of returning. We, it, first of all, we start using it when we're in the final days of duality where we are now, nearing the end when we have the opportunity to jump off of that detour. And doing this mudra will really help us to get back into our original uh, to align with our original true plan. And then after that, going forward into the unknown, this mudra is very, very important for that too. So the first thing we do is we align with our vastness, with our trueness, that we are true earth star beings. We're starry beings in physical human form. And here we're going to see the worlds within worlds well, you know how vast the worlds within worlds are. Think of how vast that we are. So you'll see the worlds within worlds, they're here. So sitting in your vastness, we're going to bring our hands out to the side. We're going to curve our hands with our thumbs sticking outwards. And each hand is aligned with an evolutionary spiral. The spiral of oneness, the spiral of duality. And we're going to bring those two evolutionary spirals together. And then you're going to interlock your hands. They just fit together really naturally. And I'll show you this from an aerial view. And you don't do this yourselves, but this is just showing from on top what it looks like. See how they fit together just beautifully. And this is over, but not touching the worlds within worlds. And our hands are composed of stardust. Stardust in the physical form. And then we just slowly bring it down. Not touching the worlds within worlds, but enough so it really feels that energy. And it kind of reminds me, this mudra reminds me of one of those defibrillators, those things you put on the heart, to bring the heart back to life. And this is bringing back to life the original true plan, the original evolutionary blueprint within ourselves, within the planet Earth, and within the worlds within worlds. So we're gonna do it a second time. And remember that your hands are stardust. I'm going to do it two more times, and these times we're going to feel the response of the worlds within worlds to what we're doing. It's going to come back up at us. 
just like the heart does when you use that machine. And that's how we restore everything back to the original true plan. If you want to heal the earth, uh, this will do it. If you want to heal ourselves from the whole passage through duality, this will do it. If you're ready to leave the detour of duality and want to realign with the original evolutionary blueprint, this will do it. And then as the year progresses, once we get to this point, we'll see that there's a series of what called the Bridges of the Four Stars. And that takes us really into the unknown. And again, this mudra will take us beyond those bridges. <laughs> <laughs>